Hello everyone. Today, actually tonight, it it is midnight. Um <laughs> it is December 18th. It is officially my last night in New York City. Um I'm kind of, I'm really sad actually. Well, not sad, more just like it's the end of a, a little era that I had. Um so here's the situation. So Tomorrow at 11, my mom's going to pick up a car. My mom's here, she's staying in the hotel. I'm sorry, I look terrible, I'm going to bed. And my little brother is here and we are road tripping home. So, so exciting. We're gonna go through quite a few states, like New Jersey, Vermont, Virginia, Tennessee, Arkansas, and I skipped like 20 in between, but that's the gist of it is where we're staying and stuff. So it's gonna be really fun. I haven't seen like any of those states, so I'm very excited to like get to explore a little bit more of the US. All my stuff's kind of packed, mostly. So originally I was gonna fly home, but then I started curating stuff here and I was like, I don't wanna get rid of it. I don't wanna figure out what to do with it. Starting with this bedding. I got this bedding and I was like, I don't wanna pay $80 for a suitcase to bring this home. So I was like, I think we should drive home. So we are trying to figure out options to do that. But this is my like road trip bag. So this is the bag I'll be like bringing with me. These are all my Trader Joe's bags filled with all the stuff I didn't feel like packing. So like my yarn, which I started knitting, so that's fun. All of these two things are full of yarn. Kitchen stuff, all my dance shoes are in there, and just like organization stuff that I didn't feel like packing. Um, Dutch, my backpack, of course, and then that's a box of valuables because I've been collecting china. Uh, that's a bag full of more bags, and then two suitcases with a bunch of random stuff in it. The room has been cleaned. My mother took care of that. She cleaned everything, and um, I think I'm going to spend a couple minutes just journaling and writing in my notebook. So I bought this notebook at Muji, which is my favorite store in the whole world. They're only here in Manhattan and in Japan. That's it. We need one closer because I don't know how I'm going to function with that. But I bought this notebook. It's like a dollar and ninety cents, and I bought it at the beginning of New York, and I have journaled almost the whole way through of just my times here. I have a couple of pages at the back. I'm gonna spend some time journaling just to like give some closure for this end of an era. Okay. I will miss this chair. This weird half rocking chair, half not rocking chair. Who makes an office desk chair like that? It's okay. I sucked it up for four months and now I gotta go back home to my, I actually don't remember what my desk chair is at home, but oh well. See y'all in the morning. Good morning. It is the morning. I am leaving New York. It's crazy. I can't believe like it's actually here. I'm actually going home. Um, I'm pretty ready to go home. And I know like the longer I think about my time here, the more I'll miss it for sure. Um, and I'm just really grateful for this season of my life because I will always, you know, I'll always remember it because it's my first time living by myself, living away, and um, yeah, it was great. But I am ready to go home, I am ready to get married, I have my ring now, and yeah, it's gonna be a fun drive home too. So I'm going to get breakfast with one of my New York friends um, this morning, we're of course going to get bagels, and then we're gonna pack up the car and leave. We're gonna go to Washington, Washington DC, because I've never been there, but it's our just country's capital, so maybe I should, you know, go there at least once. Here's Mark Adam. He's been sick. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, well, I came here with um just oh a mere two suitcases, three suitcases, four suitcases, four suitcases, and I'm leaving with two bins of stuff, so... <laughs> okay, to be fair, a lot of it is pillows. This is mostly just pillows and bedding. The rest of it's probably Muji stuff. Okay, we are waiting in the, um, what is this place called again? Service elevators. <laughs> I didn't want to call it something it wasn't. It's cold, isn't it? We're just waiting for mom. Okay, mom's driving the rental car and we are leaving the city. It's just... I've only been in the car in the city like three times. I've been living up there. Okay, we just crossed into Delaware. I don't think any of us in our family have been to no, Delaware, right? Well, but very Lily has. Yes. 
It's so big, I can't even get it into like one frame. We're leaving Washington, D.C. now. We're about to cross into Virginia. Welcome to Virginia. Yay! And it's snowing. We figured out, Mom. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. Look at this giant beam. <laughs> There's coffee and tea. tea. Oh, your Hulk juice. Hulk juice. Oh, good. Oh. The brick. I'm obsessed with exposed brick. And the ceilings. Wow. That's so pretty. There's like frost everywhere. Gosh, this is so cute. <laughs> it's a little slippery. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there we go. We are now in Tennessee. We are in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, I think we're just going to stop here for like an hour or so and we're gonna walk around this town. It's actually not what I expected, but it's really, it's a cute town. I think we're going to like a gaming store for Mark Adams, so we're gonna go look at that. And then we're driving to Nashville tonight and we're doing Christmas lights. Um, and then we're staying there. I, I enjoy just like visiting different places and walking around and honestly not really doing anything, just like taking in the environment, the people, the architecture, stuff like that. Mark Adam, you look so homeless. I am homeless. Okay. Look at all these comic books. Marky has a good comic collection at home, right? Whoa. Whoa. That's a good picture of you. You take a picture of well, me your pet. Well, Yeah, Nashville just has this massive thing. Annie, Mark out of FaceTiming oh, Annie. Sorry. Uh, what? It's a little chilly. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Texas. Right. Absolutely. Okay, we are in Texacarna, which is literally on the border. Okay, wait. According to the map, we're in Texas now, but... No, she's got... Oh, no, 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 here it comes. Here it comes. Look at the sign. Oh, yeah. There we go. Home enough. There we go. Tell, me, tell us, welcome to Texas. What? It's okay, it may take a second. You're gonna welcome us. <laughs> the one state. The one state. She didn't welcome us to Texas. <laughs> she welcomed us to like Maryland and Delaware. <laughs> well, that was sad. That was sad. You didn't welcome us to Texas, lady. So we drove through Arkansas. We didn't stop at all. I think we may have stopped for Subway, right? Yeah, yeah. We did Knoxville, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, and Memphis, Tennessee. Went through Arkansas. We just crossed into Texas, so we went through Texarkana. I think it's what it's called. It's like right on the border between Texas and Arkansas. We were going to stop at Nacogdoches, but we're about four hours away from home, so we think we may just go home. It wasn't the plan, but yeah. Margie, how was your bathroom experience? The worst. The worst bathroom lake you've ever been in? Not worse than Lynn Lucas, but worse. Dang. One of the worst. Mine wasn't that bad. I mean, it was like a little bit bad, but the toilet seat was clean. And if the toilet seat's clean, I'm fine, you know? Yeah. And like, if the, I- The only thing that wasn't was the stalls. And the stalls would like- Oh yeah, the other- one of the stalls had, uh, unflushed things in it. <laughs> um, in the door- it smacked me in the head. Did you have a mirror in yours? Yes, but that scared me. I was washing my hands <laughs> yes. and it turned around. Yes, that scared me too because it wasn't a real uh, mirror. I ran out of soap in the bathroom. Uh, 